everyone, it's me, Axis Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And today's video is going to be a doll hunt and haul. So here's the hunt. America's thrift. I'm just keep the good luck going, get the good vibes going. What if I find a bubble cup Barbie here? <laughs> just kidding, but let's see. Barbie kitty capers, come on. And we've arrived. That's um, Calico Critters adjacent house. <laughs> um, they cleaned up quite a bit, so I'm very interested to see what's going on in the actual doll section. And there's some dolls that have escaped the doll section. Who are you? Isn't she interesting? Ooh, I don't know who she is, but I'm... Oh, look! Man, she was well-loved, but she still has a lot of her stuff. Okay, I'm very interested to see the doll section. Getting more and more excited. <laughs> All right, looky. Okay, so it's very full, but don't get too excited yet. Uh, let's see what we find. So I'm gonna start. Look at her. Who is that? It's like I'm in a parallel universe where I don't recognize all the dolls. Like, usually I recognize all the dolls. Um, interesting outfit on her. Oh, look at that. She's beautiful. Um, and this one's also very pretty. Her head is coming off but it's fixable, it's okay. <laughs> and then, oh, Cheer Ruby. But how many Cheer Rubies do I have? Okay, hold on, but who is that? <laughs> if this is a boxy girl again, I always am like, oh my God, who is that based on the body, but that it's a boxy girl. And I have nothing against boxy girl. They're just not for me. Oh, look, some dwarves. Um, then, this interesting doll. There's a lot of weird dolls today. Positive. I like different types of dolls, but normally you just see a bunch of Barbies and Disney. But there's like lots of other stuff today. She was here last time. Um, oh, Crystal. Look. Head tilt. No, that's an original crystal, or at least one of the first two releases of crystal. Um, Bo Peep back there. Is a, almost looks like an original release on a, a Disney store. Not JCPenney. Mine's JCPenney. Um, oh, Rosetta. I really am desperate for the Disney store Rosetta. And I'm haunted by the fact that I literally held one in my hands multiple times at a thrift store because she was there for weeks and I never got her. And then I realized, oh look, cute. I realized that they were exclusive to, oh look, those are a loving family. Um, I had that dollhouse, uh, I have it again now, but was that that new DC Superhero Girls? Hold on. Oh, look, Alina with her wings. Okay, hold on, hold on. One thing at a time. I really want this bumblebee and she even has her glasses, so mine. Um, all right, let's keep looking. Oh, that's the, she was here last time too, I think. Oh, look, how funny. This dress goes to a muse from the Diamond Castle and I just unboxed that doll like last week, uh, but I've had her for months. I just just now decided to unbox her. Um, I have some long hair. Um, I'm kind of tempted by this Alina because she has her shoes, but her wings are in worse condition than mine. But I do have a friend who said that they're looking for uh, like old Barbie movie dolls, so I'm gonna grab that. And also I'm gonna pick up all these dolls, don't worry. I put them there, but um, just because I was sorting, I'll put them back. Cool, and then we're gonna go look for um, like other stuff in this section, but I'm gonna take a chance on this random doll clothes bag because this uh, is enchanting to me and the material looks really nice. Um, but everything else looks either homemade or just like a scrap of fabric, but we'll see. Um, and I'm just looking closely here. It's hard to record this section because I really just stare <laughs> to see if anything jumps out at me. Like, I'm gonna look in that one with the mini Lala Loopsy in a second. We have, pretty sure these are all boots. Oh, that's a basic fun. Uh, I already have that one though, but cool. And this, uh, fakies are very cute, these fakies. Um, I'm very, I'm very, very picky with fakies though. Like I don't add them to my collection very often. Um, it's only when there's like really, ones that really jump out to me that I get them. Fakey being fake My Little Pony, to be clear, because um, I like bootleg stuff, like I don't mind it, but I'm pretty picky with what actually comes into my home. Um, 
the mini Lala's are very cute. I like the LOL in there. And Princess Amber from Sophia the First, I do actually really want. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna get this bag for $4. Yeah, and the Disney uh, Princess minifigures would be, I have a spot that I want to display them. So that works out, we'll get that. Probably, we'll see. We are going to check out Kid or Once Upon a Child because I never go here because I never found anything the first time, but that's it. Ooh, I've never seen these before. Cool, I was wondering, where do these get sold? Like, I think they're cute. I see them on AliExpress, but that's it. Um, okay, so they have a lot of new stock, which is interesting. They did not have this last time I was here, but it's around Christmas, so I guess that makes sense. this uh i totally almost missed this i was just walking around trying to take pictures of myself holding my new doll i'm not gonna lie to you um but look what i found a ton of dolls all in individual bags so they're all hiding up here i guess um so let's see i mean this isn't like a huge amount or anything but oh brooklyn cute ten dollars is a little too close to the retail cost for me um but they're all in really good shape which is cool let's see oh oh i love the pets okay definitely getting this bag a little expensive but when in rome that doesn't apply here but then the boss complete why is everything like fully complete that's like weird right? um okay let me put everybody that i'm not getting back i'm still freaking out about ivy like what um okay and then was there a pet in this bag no but in this bag, or in this area, there's legs. Okay, it's her. <laughs> it seems like they just unboxed some play sets for something. That's huge. Um, oh, this is, oh my God, it's like a bug set. I need this set. Yeah, that is so cool. I wanna put that on my desk at work. <laughs> what is this? This is cool. Oh, and then this little fold-out house, which these are so cute, but I already have one. Not that one, but you know. Okay. I can't believe I found Ivy. Like, what? And now it's time for the haul. So, by the way, before we get started, if you haven't yet, please check out the Barbie cat video I say that I made this week. I worked really, really hard on it, and it's not doing well at all, and I would love for you guys to see it. I, it's... I, I think it's a great video. I think it's one of the best videos I've ever made. Um, that being said, I know you guys like thrift hauls and here we are. Uh, another reminder, this video is sponsored by you guys. I have channel memberships. If you're interested, there's a join button or a memberships tab on my channel, wherever you find it. Uh, they get exclusive emojis and some other stuff. It's fun. And they got to see this video early as well. So that's an extra little bonus there. So this is a weird thrift haul because it kind of takes place over several weeks. So some of the stuff I bought the same day as the Barbie haul that I posted last time, but I, if I find a lot of like the same thing, I'll post that in its own haul and then separate the other stuff so that, you know, it's just better for viewers, I think. And also nice for me because I can make two separate videos out of it. Um, and also there were just like one-off things that I found that wouldn't be able to make a whole video. So that's what this is. There's even something that I bought on eBay in here. So we're gonna have fun. <laughs> uh, so the first two things I'm gonna show you are two American Girl dolls. <laughs> I have this phase occasionally where I just get really, really into American Girl dolls again, and it's usually prompted by me finding one at a thrift store or something, and that's the case here. In November, I went to a doll show and bought three American Girl dolls. Um, so I found one on Facebook Marketplace, and I found one of these on uh, at a store called Once Upon a Child, uh, which you guys saw. That was really, really cool. I posted a, like, a YouTube short of that a while ago, so maybe you already saw it. Um, but anyway, the first one that I found was Ivy, and... Again, I found this doll at a toy resale store. I did already clean her up, so she's already had her shine marks worked on and her hair all fixed up. And this is the 70s character Julie's best friend. They used to do best friend characters. And this doll is pretty hard to find, uh, so I was really, really, really stunned and excited to find her. Uh, I can't decide if she's had a haircut or not, because I've seen pictures of them new in box with hair this short, but I'm pretty sure her hair is usually this long, so I don't know. Uh, regardless though, I'm really, really hyped about her. I think she's so beautiful and 
I'm only missing one, or I'm missing two historical best friends now. I know you don't know my collection well enough to know this, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I uh, was also miss I was missing three after I got Ivy. And I had remembered this really cool listing I saw on Facebook Marketplace for another historical best friend. And uh, it was $55. That was a really good deal for the doll, but I don't know. I'm being thrifty. And American Girl prices are weirdly low right now. I'll link in the description Mercari. It'll be referral code, so I'll earn from it. But you can just go to Mercari if you don't want to be doing that. It's fine. Um, but... Like, American Girl dolls are ridiculously cheap right now. You can get them easily for, like, $30 to $40. Obviously, they're not going to be in perfect condition, but they're really easy to fix up, and I've done videos about that if you want to see it. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> the price went down to $45 the day I got Ivy, and I was like, okay, it's meant to be. I'm going to go get her. And I did. So, I got Ruthie. She came with a our Generation outfit that I've already taken off of her, and I put her in this, I think it's Kit's reporter outfit from Be Forever or something. I don't remember. I bought it years ago uh, because I thought it was the most beautiful outfit I'd ever seen. It was actually before I ever had Kit, too. I just loved it. Um, and the truly me that's been wearing this no longer gets to wear it anymore because it's on Kit, so, or it's on Ruthie, so that's kind of sad for her. Um, but this is the first time I've had a history, like, I'm not kidding, the first time I've had a historical best friend set that are wearing outfits that are contemporary to them. Because <laughs> I either don't have the best friend for some of them, like, I didn't have Felicity forever, I have her now, but I don't have any of her outfits, um, and, like, Samantha, I have her, she's not complete, and I have Nellie, she was a gift, but, like, I don't have her outfit either, so, and I'm fine with them not having, like, their outfit, but I want them to have something contemporary to them, and this outfit is so cute on Ruthie, and she cleaned up unbelievably well, she was already in really good condition, but I fixed her up, and I did a, like, YouTube short about that if you want to see it. I'll link it in the description. Uh, I also filmed me fixing up Ivy, which I might make into a short. I'm not sure yet, because I don't have an outfit for her, so it'd be kind of awkward to end it there. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, very, very happy with my two new American Girl dolls. Moving on. <laughs> Next. I have a huge thrift haul. Um, I believe the stuff in here is from two different thrift trips. We consolidated them into the Once Upon a Child bag at some point. Um, also this, I got this, you can see it in my vintage Barbie haul video, like me carrying this around. I did buy it. Um, here, there's your closure. <laughs> it's extremely cute. And yeah, no idea what Yasmin that's supposed to be, if it's even one that exists. Is it like 2010 era? Like, I don't know, but it's pretty cute. I like this one. So I got it. <laughs> okay. And then, ooh, should we do eBay or should we do thrift haul first? I'm gonna do thrift haul because the eBay stuff is like really cool and it's like not grails but like wish list dolls that I've had on my wish list for years. Just something that's been on my radar but I've never like bit the bullet and purchased them, but I just did. Um so starting off, we have these. So these are some DC superhero girls, and I actually find DC superhero girls at thrift stores a lot. This bag was $8.99. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of a lot. Um I find them really often at thrift stores, but they're usually too incomplete for me, but I could not leave this one behind because there was this very short-lived DC Superhero Girls reboot uh, in which they looked like this. They have these, like, My Little Pony looking proportions, which, if you don't know DC Superhero Girls, DC Superhero Girls, it's hard to say fast, um, is made by the same person as, like, My Little Pony G4, Lauren Faust. Um, and these are like so her art style and I love them so much and they match the show so well, but they did not last long. And I don't find these thrifting too often and especially like never with their stuff. So I was so excited to find Bumblebee who is my favorite DC superhero girl. Uh, and she has wings. She's amazing. I was so excited to find her like this and like, look at her shoes. Like she's, her proportions are awesome. I'm so excited about her. And I don't know if this was a coincidence or what, but she's packaged with this um, Wonder Woman who, most likely missing a headpiece, kind of stain on her forehead, probably not keeping this one, um, she will find a good home, but, yeah, oh, interesting, the shoes, like, the feet are articulated, but it's not like brat shoes where you can pull them off, at least it doesn't seem like it is, weird, as uh, some kind of budget DC, super, DC superhero girl, I have, like, one or two of these, and I would collect them, uh, it's just that I never really find them, and they're not, like, ones that I prefer, I love these, uh, but I really want them to have their full outfits because it's DC superhero girls, like, they they have pretty specific outfits, um, but yeah, she's awesome, I'm so happy about her. She was an awesome thrift find. Next, 
we have this bag, and you'll see someone very special in here. This bag was $6.99. And this is another bag where there's a doll that's like, you'll find another home. Um, and then this one. Oh, how funny. I didn't see her. This is actually mind blowing. Sorry, this won't matter to anybody but me. But if you guys have been watching my thrift videos for at least like one or two years, I found a Brietta doll. And I'm pretty sure she was wearing this exact dress. And this is Annika, her sister. Well, now I'm going to have to keep her because uh, I kept that Brietta, even though I have like a perfect like mint condition Brietta. Um, <laughs> because that is so cool. Wow. Also, that's really cool because she's in the bag with this Alina doll. And I still have my childhood Alina. So this one's not for me, but I have a friend uh, who I met who actually is like local to me, which is really cool. And he is looking for Barbie movie dolls. And this doll I found like a couple days after I met him. So yay <laughs> uh so i really hope that he likes this one uh i'll fix her up a little bit her wings are really really trashed i wonder if she still lights up yeah no um she probably would if you did batteries but the fact that she had her shoes was kind of mind-boggling and this um did she come with the necklace or did azura come with the necklace i don't remember i used to trade it between them though uh when i was a kid but anyway like weirdly excellent find wing again wings aren't perfect but if you trimmed them a decent amount i think they could work uh if you don't know her wings are fiber optic so so they usually are pretty shredded like this my childhood one was treated very well and has some of this well mine is like a crease which this one doesn't actually seem to have any creases so that's good but anyway super super cute uh and a, like weirdly excellent thrift find i'm actually stunned by the deja vu of this one that's so weird it's so random okay next this bag i bought this bag because there were Lala Loopsy minis, which I really like. I'm not gonna go out of my way to collect them because there's like a lot of them, and I'm specifically into Lala Loopsy girls. Like, I like Lala Loopsy, but I do not have room to collect them. I'm not really seeking to collect them, but some of the minis I would like to have, so I got this bag. Um, normally, I wouldn't go for it, like, I would have left them, but there was also Princess Amber uh, from Sophia the First, and I really love Sophia the First, and I thought this one just captured her vibe well, uh, so I grabbed her. And yeah, she's really cute. What is she supposed to be holding? Maybe that was a fan. It's like broken, but it's fine. Adorable. I really love Sophia the First. I have very little stuff from it. I have a Sophia doll that my friend gifted me for my birthday a couple years ago. And I think that's it. I think I might have the mom too from a random thrift find. Uh, there's also, oh, interesting. This LOL actually seems to have most, if not all of her like main outfit. Um, a very cute LOL that has... Oh, interesting. This, how does that work? I don't know. I guess the hair is supposed to poke out of the little hair wrap. This one's very cute. I love the cage skirt. Um, cute. Again, I don't go out of my way to get the LOL tots, but if I find them for a good price, sure. This is a little Ariel cake topper or something. Um, I don't know what this minifigure is supposed to be, but she's extremely cute. Really like the emotion on this figure. Uh, and then we have some trolls. I think these are probably from a busy book. And you can usually tell when something's from a busy book because the faces look really bad. <laughs> um, and the sculpts will be great, but the faces will be terrible. Um, but it could be from something else. I don't know. Maybe like um, little surprise eggs or something. And then a Disney Pocahontas. And then we have our Lala Loopsies. So I think this is Peanut Big Top. Again, not familiar with Lala Loopsies outside of the Lala Loopsie girls. Uh, and then this one's extremely cute. Oh, well, how are your legs? Oh, your head is backward, not your legs. I was like, okay. So, so cute. I love this one. Whoever this is. She's got like an umbrella skirt. And yeah, these are adorable. Adorable. And these were reproduced. I feel like they maybe got discontinued again, but they reproduced a lot of those for a minute. So those could be reproductions. They could not be. I don't really care either way. I like them. Uh, and then this is a really nice looking Trolls. I've only seen the first movie once, uh, and it was because we were on a cruise ship and it just happened to be playing on the TV and I don't even think I watched the whole thing. Um, but it was really good from what I saw, so I'd like to continue and I've heard people really like the new one, so um, I'd like to check it out too. Okay, this bag I bought because I really, I, I did not know who this doll was and I was very enchanted by her. And if it's a doll that I don't even recognize and it's not obviously a fakie, then I'm gonna grab her. 
Um, and she had this super long hair too. So what is her deal? Honestly, she might be a fakie now that I look and there's no copyright info, but like regardless, she's so interesting. Look at her. And her hair is um, like this really cool red hair. She had a braid. She has earrings that appear to be, oh, they are a separate piece. Okay. I thought they were just sculpted in. Let me know if you recognize her. I thought her face was extremely cute. Looks to be like 80s or late 80s or early 90s, but it could be anywhere after that too. And she's got like the twist and turn shape to the waist. It's not like a straight line across. It's slightly curved. But yeah, this doll was really unique. So I grabbed her. I don't know. Um, I have regretted it hard before when I didn't pick up a doll that I didn't recognize. And then I'm like, well, when am I going to find that doll again? So I decided to grab her. And then this is a Hannah Montana doll. And these are super cute. I don't collect them. I don't, I've never seen them. I'd like to, I don't know, um, but I don't super see myself collecting them, but she is quite cute. So yeah, Hannah Montana doll. Okay, and then we have, this was kind of random, but I grabbed this because I've been looking for these little like 60s, 70s, I don't know what year this is from, but that's the vibe it gives me is like very 60s. Um, these little kitschy friends, uh, and I've been looking for one for a long, long time at a thrift store. Honestly, I haven't been looking that hard, so I've probably skipped over a hundred of them, but um, I knew that this was something so at least somewhat old, mid-century-ish, because we've got the just Japan written right here, um, and a lot of stuff was made in Japan in the mid-century times, which is why the original Barbies were made in Japan. Unfortunately, he does have a broken horn, but that kind of adds to his charm, I think, and it seems that he is a salt or pepper shaker, I guess. You fill it from the bottom. Super dirty, gotta clean him up, but isn't he cute? I just, I love the personality on the faces of these little figures. So I got him for our little mantle. And then there were a couple other little creatures in the bag as well. So there was this little duck. Oh my gosh, he's scotch taped together. That's so sad. Um, extremely cute. Brett loves ducks. So I think that he will like this one. Just very cute little ceramic things. And I, I very rarely pick stuff up in this section because like, Every ceramic cat is cute. Every ceramic rabbit is cute. Do I need every single one? No, because I need every single doll and I need room for those. I'm kidding, by the way, but like, you know. Um, and But this cat was collateral and pretty cute. So we'll be joining my little cat area. The last cat that I bought was last year. Super cute one though. Like a made in Japan, really nice one. Um, very tall and big. Um, but yeah, this one has a little hat. It's pretty cute. So yeah, I bought it for this. I might not keep the other two. I might. Just depends. Um, but I was really curious about this one. So if you recognize this little guy or like know what year he's from, please let me know because I am interested. I just love the like the art style of that time period, especially the made in Japan stuff. It's so beautiful. Okay. And then Once Upon a Child, which I have not been to Once Upon a Child. Like I went there once when I, since I moved here, like the one in this area, I went there once. They had almost nothing. It was really awkward. Um, there are certain Once Upon a Child stores or like Kid to Kids that when I go in there, I feel like unbelievably judged and I feel like violently uncomfortable and I'm like, I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Uh, thankfully, the one where I used to live in New York wasn't really like that, but the one here like really was. And it was actually worse this time because I bought stuff because, <laughs> you know, you're walking in as like an adult buying all the toys. They, they think you're weird. I, not buying all the toys, but buying some of the toys or looking at the toys in general. Um, like I was freaking out when I found Ivy uh, and the employees were just like looking at me. Um, but I did ask if they've been getting toys and they said, yeah. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> so you're going to see me again. Um, but anyway, I found not only Ivy, but I found a bunch of other toys too. So this bag I got, because again, don't collect the tots really. I just happen to get them sometimes. Like I'm not going to go out of my way to collect them, but I did end up with this one. Oh, is her sister an OMG? The cheerleading one? Maybe. Well, anyway, absolutely adorable one. I didn't even look at the tot that was in here, to be honest with you. I was trying to check if this is rooted hair, and I think, yeah, it is. Cool. And she's extremely, extremely cute. I really, really like her outfit, and yeah, it's nice that she has little shoes, too. I assume she's supposed to have, like, a ribbon or something, but no big deal that she doesn't. I bought this because I really want the LOL pets. I used to think they were really weird. Um, but then I got real and realized that they are, like, the definition of campy. And I love them. They're just so silly and, like, lighthearted and fun. And also, I love them. So, 
Anyway, I got this horse one. I'm actually shocked this isn't a unicorn by the color scheme, but I just love her. And she comes with all four shoes. All four of them. Awesome. So cute. This is my first horse one. And then, um, is this a possum? <gasps> oh, I love this. With an amazing high ponytail. Oh my god, Brett's gonna love this one. I actually didn't even see what these were. I just saw that they were LOL pets and grabbed them. Oh my gosh. This bag was $6, by the way. Oh my god. The little, like, overalls, too. This is probably the best LOL pet I've ever found. Wow. <laughs> this one's so cute. so silly i love too that the eyes don't have the iris in them it's just the the black with the pupil just like a just like a possum oh these are awesome well yay <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, that was exciting <laughs> and then okay hear me out <laughs> i got this new barbie play set because it's like a bug catching like entomologist play set and I think I want to display this at my workplace because um, <laughs> I have shelves in my office and I think it would be cute to have a little science Barbie. Um, so, because scientists. Um, anyway, I don't, there's like a playset piece, like a little workbench sort of thing. There's this tree that, is this the butterfly come out? There's like a little butterfly in here. How does that work? Um, there's this tree, there's blue bonnets, there's these little flowers, and there's little pegs everywhere because you can put the bugs all over. And there's this little bug identification thingy, which I assume goes here or something. I don't know. Some, something like this. So you can identify all of your little bugs. Oh my god, this is divine. This is so cute. This is so cute. Okay. And then we have the barbara which i mean oh looks like this was a national geographic tie and that's cute this um is probably the worst thing i've ever seen in my life uh the printed on this is a nightmare but i will say this shirt is very nice quality i really like this the pants are like okay whatever like they're passable not great but they are actually that's stitched on detail that is not printed on so that's nice and then the shoes are actually quite cute um i mean she's like she's very very like basic for a like a Millie, even, even by Millie standards, but she's cute, whatever. The accessories are why I bought this set. So, bug catching net, adorable. Camera. I mean, cute, whatever. Um, bin binoculars, cute. Microscope, cute. A beehive. Oh my God, I guess this goes in the tree. Hmm, maybe here. Yeah, I think it goes there. So cute. So cute. Okay. And then we have a little, like, magazine sort of thing. National Geographic. It's got a bunch of bugs. Maybe, like, this is supposed to be a dichotomous key or something. I don't know. Um, little ladybug. I think this might be the lid to a jar. Oh, this is, like, a little... Does the ladybug come out of there? Can you put any bug? Hmm, that's... A wasted opportunity it seems like this is just for the ladybug but this is really cute um does it i guess this has a specific spot it will like plug into on the desk but there's also a little finger hold so the doll can hold it this set is really cute i don't really look twice at the barbie section anymore unless i'm specifically looking for something but it looks like the play sets are pretty decently cool okay i'm trying to get a little bugs out of here yeah so the fact that this came with all the little bugs is why i picked it up it was a little expensive it was $12. I feel like this set probably retailed for $20, so a little bit steep, but the fact that it came with all these little bugs, and I was like, I don't think, like, 10 years from now, if I have to decide that I want this, I will ever find these little bugs, and I really want all these little bugs. Um, I just, I, this is why I bought this, because one of my favorite toys um, when I was younger, like, with my My Little Pony specifically, there was, I think it was, it was a Flutter Buy, it wasn't Fluttershy, it was the one with the butterfly. Anyway, there was Avalonia. I think it was Avalonia. Um, but anyway, there was a, like, bug-catching play set. And it came with these little jars you could put the little butterflies in. It was just so, so cute. So when I saw that there was, like, a Barbie version of that set, I was like, yeah, I have to have that. Little magnifying glass that really does magnify. That is awesome. 
And then we've got our bugs. So there's a bunch of crawly ones that are in this right now, but I'll put that down for a second. We have a little blue swallowtail butterfly and they all can be placed all over the playset on in the little peg holes. This is a really nice playset. The, the design of this is awesome. A little purple butterfly with rainbow tips on the wings. Very Lisa Frank of that butterfly. Okay, oh, this one's kind of spinning around. Um, and then, oh my god, a dragonfly, cute. Little dragonfly. This is so fun, oh my god. I wonder what this little, I mean, there's like a switch here, but oh my god. Oh, the butterflies, um, wing, like the wings or whatever are way too thick, so like that doesn't work 100%. Like it looks silly when it's, oh, never mind. Oh my god, I was gonna say that looks weird when it's closed, but no, that's a cocoon. A pupa, a chrysalis. And if you open it up, this set is really cool and then we have some bees of course to go with the little beehive we have two bees two bees oh my god and then in the little cat like catcher kit thing we have this actually closes really good so i can't get the lid off come on okay creepy crawlies so in here we have it's either a pond skater or a walking stick. It looks like a pond skater, but I'm going with walking stick. I think it's probably a walking stick. And then we have this little jewel beetle or something. I don't know. I'm not an entomologist. <laughs> um, and then also these little, probably tarantulas. They're pretty thick bodied. Um, so these rock. Uh, let me give you a closer look at everything real quick. Is this not the cutest thing? So all of the larger accessories have a little like slot so that you can put them down. I don't actually like this because it means I can't use this anywhere else unless I sand that off. Um, but it's cute that it has like a designated spot. Uh, also, if you lose one, you just have a weird dividend table. So that's also kind of weird. Um, but anyway, this is really cute set. It comes with a lot of really fun accessories. It doesn't seem like I have anywhere to put this, but there's a slot here. But I don't know what to put there. Um, anyway, this is the tree set where I've pinned some of the bugs. Super, super cute. This is actually really cool. I was about to, like, criticize this so hard, and then I realized what it was. Uh, which is very cute because it tells you about it there. That's so cool, actually. That's a really good idea. It's cute. The, <laughs> the actual execution is questionable, but it, I really like the idea. And they have some butterflies. So you can have some pollinators and some rocks. You can put the... The little beetle on there or something or maybe the spiders would make more sense but anyway there's the beetle he's cute well, not a scarab i don't think um because they have the long antenna right um oh that this is a pond skater okay there's i didn't realize there was a pond to skate on so yeah i think that's a pond skater and then our little beetle guy wait you don't make as much sense there hold on you would make more sense kind of Maybe that's not a ground beetle. I don't know. I assume an entomologist was... Imagine that being on your resume. Like, I helped design a Barbie playset as an entomologist. That's not into dolls. It'd be so random. Um, but anyway, this is glorious. I love it a lot. Amazing Barbie playset. I would have loved this as a kid. But I desperately wish that ladybug could come out. Maybe it can, and I just was not pulling hard enough. I don't know. This is a very nice set. I like this. Okay. And while the camera's still turned around... Let me show you this bag of doll clothes. Okay, sorry, I had to open it. So this was $5, and I bought this because this piece in particular just did not look like, it just looked really good. I don't know, it might be homemade, and I don't know what doll size it goes to, actually. I didn't realize it was this big. It honestly looks kind of almost American Girl size, um, but I don't think it is because the neck area. Yeah, I don't know what this is for, but I just thought it looked really luxe, so I grabbed it. Um, I don't always grab doll clothes bags, but honestly, I should in case there's some hidden gems. Uh, I think this is homemade. It's extremely cute. Little purse. This is unique. I think maybe homemade, because it's a weird stitch. And then we have made okay this is bad at so that's our generation and i guess this is like a little scarf piece like a little maybe for the 
like a headscarf. That's very cute. I will definitely be keeping that. And then, oh, look. Definitely homemade as well. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. I don't think this will fit any of my dolls, but, um, oh, look. That is so sweet. Um, I will definitely redonate this so that somebody else can enjoy it. It's very cute. Um, and then this... I guess it goes to some kind of baby doll, so that will be redonated as well. Um, this little, this is a matching piece as well. And then, I don't know what this piece is. Um, green light connections. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so a lot of these will be redonated, but I'm definitely keeping this piece and potentially this piece. Um, but yeah, it's good to grab the doll clothes bags. I don't always do it because generally it's full of um, stuff that doesn't work for my dolls, but it's um it's worth grabbing them just in case generally all right now it's time for the last piece of our puzzle we have the ebay thing i bought so these are something that i have been on my radar for a while and they're on my like ebay save searches which i have ebay save searches that go back to like 2014 that i've never bought anything from but i'm just looking i'm browsing uh, and this is one of them. <laughs> um, so these dolls are, they're ones that have been on my radar for a long time because if you search for Wings Club dolls, these come up a lot in Europe specifically. Uh, they're very popular there. I do think they were actually made by MGA though, kind of random. Um, or at least distributed by MGA, I think. I don't know. Um, I don't know a whole lot about them, but they're a doll line that I have been very interested in because they're super unique. Oh, sweet. Seller wrapped them perfect for a YouTube video. Um, they're very long dolls. Let me show you. Super, super exciting. And the reason they got back on my radar, by the way, like fully is because in some capacity, these are called leggy dolls. Uh, and that's what I call my daughter Lego, my cat, my cat, um, I call her leggy. <laughs> Um, they're called High Glam, though, uh, but I think they were called Leggy Dolls in Europe. I don't really know. Maybe there's just a similar doll. Um, but anyway, these are High Glam dolls. So I bought this because I've been looking for a lot of multiple forever, uh, and I just never find it. Um, so I was really excited because I like to buy multiples because you get, like, the shipping is combined between them, and it will be the same price as shipping one doll. Hair's really nice. Um, but look how cute these are. And you can really see why these get lumped in with Winx dolls. The the Winx Mattel dolls were on the design board for these, 100%. I really like the um, click joints in the knees. And as you can see, they just have really long legs. They're leggy dolls. And the outfits are glorious. And this is made out of that peely material, but it's not peely yet. So that's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, this one doesn't have any shoes. I love these long, crazy socks. And... Yeah, she even has like little, this little curl still in place. It's awesome. And her face is so cute. So, so cute. Love this doll. Really good find. Um, but wait, there's more. There's three of them in here. Uh, so, and I got them for a really good price. I don't 100% recall what I paid because this was like three weeks ago. <laughs> I've just been waiting to do this video. Um, but I, I think they were like 30 or 40 for all of them, which was a really good price. And I won them bidding. Uh, this one has her shoes and she's as well um and look at the socks they're two different socks really really nice though or no they're not two different socks one's just backward or maybe that's the intention yeah that's the intention is that you interesting okay so cute i love the color schemes like i feel like the the color schemes are kind of unusual and these are like mid 2000s era dolls and they're just they're just so interesting and nice so weird that this one has the purse but no shoes um but I definitely have a lot of doll shoes that will fit her, so I'll find something that works at some point. I'm wondering how these are going to fit on my doll stands, too. I might have to clamp it around their legs or something. Uh, but yeah, so there's two of them. And then our last one. We have the brown-haired girl. And this outfit is so common on AliExpress, specifically this top. I see it all the time. Um, and it's always like, I recognize that from somewhere. It's from these. Um, so cute to look at her socks that are really, I like that the boots are like kind of a standard boot length for a doll that would be like to here, but on this doll, it's like a, basically an ankle boot, basically compared to the leg. That's actually hilarious. Um, oh, her, her wire's broken. This can happen. The click joint breaks. Um, it's not a wire, it's a click joint. Hair is incredibly, incredibly soft. I'm thinking these were definitely owned by a collector, at least in some capacity, because they're, like, in like, weirdly excellent condition and have all their stuff still attached and everything. Um, but I just love how different the facial screenings are on these. I think that they're so cute, and I'm hoping I can find more someday. I don't really know a whole lot about them, so I don't know how many more there are. I think there's five main characters, maybe four. Um, and I got three. 
and I was trying to think of a saying, but isn't the one like three's three's company, but then four is a crowd or something? Well, I don't want to be negative about getting four because I'd love to have four. <laughs> um, but three is a good amount. Very happy. Did, when I have like one or two of a doll line that looks drastically different from my other ones displaying them, because I like to have lots of different doll lines. You guys know this. I collect a lot of discontinued doll lines and I like the diversity and form that a lot of dolls have. But for example, my Cutie Pops doll, I have one Cutie Pops doll. Die to have more. They're really, really nice dolls. Um, and I have one Cutie Pops dog. And that's it. So when I display them, they look so weird because they're so distinct. Like, so having one is very awkward, but I feel like three is enough to like make a statement on the shelf and have their own like story to tell instead of just being like, who are you? <laughs> um, so I think they're going to be really cool. And I want to really emphasize how long their legs are. So Barbie's legs end here. And you can see that this doll's legs end here. So <laughs> there's uh, quite a difference there. They do have short bodies though, too. Um, but they're super interesting. I'm impressed with, um, like, they're not as tall as I thought they were going to be. Um, the legs are just so, so long, and they're amazing. They're amazing. So, yeah, those are my, like, secondhand finds of the past couple of weeks. I am really excited about all of the dolls that I found, and if you were interested, there was a doll hunt that I filmed concurrent to some of these, where I found a bunch of 1960s and 70s Barbies, and that was amazing and you, you won't believe the price i paid if you haven't seen that video i'll link it in the description it was really fun and it's like it's a video just like this one except it specializes on those barbies uh and then i also the barbie ow <laughs> um also that barbie cat video essay it i i think you'll like it if you like like doll and toy history and stuff instead of just me rambling about it i had like a teleprompter so that i could make sure i was on topic and everything was correct so um <laughs> and like a script that i wrote i worked really hard on it so if you're interested, please check it out. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all this time. Bye!